about all the challenges we've been going through trying to connect internet um, network problem connectivity problems we are very very sorry so once again if you're watching us from anywhere all over the world we want to say good evening, good evening to, to everybody you, everyone good evening in lagos good, good evening, evening in Abuja. In, yeah good evening for Takot. good evening Wari. good evening Kwara. good evening Ekiti Akure Osho yeah. Asaba, Enugu, yes. Onicha, Cross River, yes. Good evening, Good evening, Kano. Good, Good evening, evening Nazarawa, Good evening, Katsina, yeah. Good, Good evening, also outside the country, Good evening, yeah. US, Good evening, Alaska, Good evening, <laughs> Good evening, Ukraine, Good yeah. evening, Dubai, yeah. Good evening, United Kingdom, Good evening, Canada, Good evening, Ireland, Good evening, the Philippines, Scotland, India, New Zealand. <laughs> Afghanistan, yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. Jamaica, <laughs> Afghanistan, uh, Uzbekistan, yes, Uzbekistan, good evening, Dubai, yes, sir. good evening, um, everybody, Thailand, yes, let's try like going back, Thailand, yeah, yeah. Thailand, so, good thank evening, you everybody. for coming on board this evening, we're happy you. to have you. Thank you. Um, sorry, we're coming late, we've been experiencing a lot of challenges actually, yes. but thank God we are here now. I hope you can hear us. Can you hear us, please? I hope the volume, this is not what we prepared actually, but um, we had to improvise something small again to, to come up. Mm -hmm. I hope you can hear us. Let's hear your feedback. If we, you can't um, hear us, let's get your feedback. So yes, that we, we need your feedback guys, so that we know what to do. What to Our do. technical crew, they are here, they've been battling with this. Yeah. Uh, since one of yeah, in Leo Made, Daniel, we can feel you. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Said, Praise God, network is back. Okay. Hey, thank, thank God. Thank you very thank much. God. We appreciate you. Okay, so briefly, um, I'll be doubling as um, <laughs> I'll be doubling as an interviewer, <laughs> as a presenter. At the same time, I know I'm also being interviewed. We're supposed to have a presenter in the house actually, but because the of the lockdown, you know, so and social distancing, and social distancing. So we yes. just have to make do with what we have. We hope that by the next time we're having this type of live um, video, we will definitely, you know, have everything it takes to, to have a better coordinated uh, program. Just manage with us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, can you please introduce yourself, sir? My name is Shay Abimbola. Um, the servant farmer of extra large farms. <laughs> servant farmer of extra large farms. Yeah, I'm simply a farmer. Yeah, so um, if you're watching yeah. us from anywhere all over the world, this is um, our chief farmer at extra large farms, the chairman and CEO of extra large farms and group of companies. That's a big portfolio. <laughs> and this is why I remember my uncle self and Moji David. The co liberal <laughs> co liberal in the extra large farms. <laughs> well, they say MD extra large farms. Well, you know, MD is just together. I'm um, Moji David, so that's already an MD, <laughs> and I'm my dear to somebody. <clears throat> I'm not talking, though, that's another MD. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, a managing director, so that's another MD. So I have so many MDs. Hi, Ambassador Gutoya, we can see you. Thank, thank you. you for coming on board. Thank you. Do your mother, Daniel. Thank you. We thank can, you. See, can you. see you. Um, can you please call your friends? Let it, let them know we are live online right now. Yeah, so, back. um, this evening we want to hear a little story about how the vision came about, you know, I know, yes, but for the benefit of people at home, people are watching for the first time, we really want to hear, how come agri? what prompted you, what, what brought you into agriculture, you know, we want to hear, like today, you know, we said meet our director, so we really want to hear, what, what, what brought about the idea? Actually, um, agri, uh Nobody wants to farm. Nobody wants. Nobody prays to farm. We were taught in school that if you study very hard, your shoe will sound ka 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 ka. But I rarely do go go. Yeah, that's when you, when you study. But if you don't study very hard, 
Your shoe will sound like that of a farmer. But I never walk in any land. Yes, because <laughs> every, you know. Um, so, but when you now go to school and now you have to allow your shoe to make no sound, so what happens? Mm. I think it's all about purpose. Mm. The God factor is always there. Uh, before I formed you, I knew mm -hmm. thee, and I ordained you as somebody. So. Every one of us came to this world because of a particular reason. Yeah. And that reason is from the Creator. So He created you for a particular purpose. All you need to do is fulfill that purpose mm. so that you can find fulfillment in life. Okay, so if I'm going to play a part of the journalist right now, are you trying to say that God created you and gave you a mission? An assignment into farming. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, but because I didn't know that before now. Okay. Um, one day I was just praying and I, I told God, um, I want you to give me something. Mm. The reason why you have created me, because doing businesses, making money, mm. sometimes may not be the end, the real purpose why you are here. The real purpose why you are here may be into something else. Mm. So I told God that very day, I had two challenges. I needed God to heal me concerning something mm. and I needed to find uh, uh, to use God's radar. Mm. Like when you're in the plane and then you mm. have a cannot be left For radar. direction. So the direction to where to go to mm. and what to do in life. So mm. I prayed that the two prayers and then that same day, God moved me. Mm. That same day, expressly, He just said, Go back to Nigeria and get into agriculture. People, did you hear that? <laughs> Go back to Nigeria and, and get, get into, into agriculture. agriculture. Okay, let's take it from there. Go back to Nigeria and get into agriculture. How did that sound to you? It sounded crazy. <laughs> because, how can you get into agriculture? The you know, not naturally, um, your parents, if you look at your parents, your grandparents, and many of them like that, yeah. I checked my, I tried checking my lineage, and I saw that uh, from my grandfather, my grandmother, they were into plot, plotting business. Mm. So none of them ever went into, so they didn't have lands. Mm. So no lands, like inherited lands mm. for for me to inherit, for mm, example. Mm. So, where are you really going to get land? Mm. So, it was the major thing. And you can't be a And coming back, you know, coming from outside the country, coming from my brother, coming to Nigeria to go into agriculture. Now, guys, let me tell you, when he told me about that, God said we should go back to Nigeria and get into agriculture. Guess what I said? <laughs> Oh God, you know, you are very few. I release In fact, I'll be praying. Go. Go and be doing the agreed. I'll be here praying for you. Yeah, she <laughs> simply told me. I said, God said we should go back to Nigeria and get into agriculture. She said, uh, and you can go. I and the children will stay back. Okay. So when everything is okay, <laughs> do we come and join you? <laughs> Those are the exact words she said. He said, you can go when everything is okay. Uh, and you know, one thing uh, about me is uh, I've really learned to depend on God. You know, sometimes, uh, just like in the days of Noah, mm. the Bible says all flesh shall come to an end. Mm. When you still think you can do some things by your path, mm. so God leaves you alone. So, I've lived my life to a state that my only reason for living happens to be Jesus. Mm. So there was nothing else I could do if he did, I didn't follow him. Mm. I was already sold out and I'm still sold out to him. To him. So when he said to go back to Nigeria and get into a yeah, so when I told my wife and she gave me that response, so I needed to talk to uh, a family member. So. My son happens to be the closest, so I took him round. When we go around, I would just take uh, palm seedlings. There's a particular place we could get palm seedlings, so I got it and I showed it. I said, "Look at this. If we plant this, 
it will give us a lot of palm oil to be able to sell it. And then I was just trying to sell the idea to, to my son, you know, uh, quite young but very intelligent. And uh, so he would just keep quiet and be looking at me. He did not know. to be here. I mean, let them see your face. <laughs> uh, now he's a big boy. He's in. Come, let him see your face. He's in turn. Bring your own good head. Come to the back. He's the engineer. He's the engineer. <laughs> Is it? That's Say hi to them. Hello. That's it. <laughs> Extra lad, hundred percent. Is the engineer fixing everything? He's in three hundred level in the university. Uh, he's studying animal science and forestry management. Yeah. And uh, so I took him. I said, "Look, he has always been my partner. <laughs> you know, until um, one thing about uh, the MB is uh, it may take her time to catch a vision." But the moment she catches up the vision, you'll be running after her. We are hearing my secret now. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come out with a vision. I said, give me, I said, give me time. If God told you, you should, you should tell me as well. Let me let me be sure that it was God that was telling you something. <laughs> but you know, so eventually yeah. uh, she got convinced. Yeah. We started putting our things together. Yeah. Now we needed to sell off things, mm. put all and the money together, home. and come back home into and physically you... no <gasps> tomorrow. <sighs> into physically, but spiritually, into abundance, abundance of tomorrow. Yeah. But physically, there is nothing. Yeah. And we need to sign. We need to send this um, word of encouragement to anybody that is listening to us out there. If there's anything that God has placed in your hands to do, if He has given you an assignment to do, please. Yes, it may not look at like it may not look like it at the beginning. It may look, you know, God's things, God's ways yeah. are always, you know, yeah, far from your way. In fact, in, most of the times it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. to human beings. Yeah. His ways are not our ways, yes, yes, so yes. We, we we thank God we obeyed, and then we're going to we're going to tell you more. Let me just um, appreciate the people who are here with us tonight. Um, Ay Fat Bims, thank you for joining us. We can thank see you. you. Thank you. Do me. Thank you for joining us. I think yeah. that we have seen uh, Governor in Ibadan, Governor Obuke Bashiru. Thank you for joining thank us. You. We have seen um, Fama Ilu Thank you, thank for, you joining for joining us. us. We have seen Ambassador Obuntoye Matoye. Thank, thank you for, for joining, joining us. us. If you are here, send in your comments and everything. I think we've seen. Um, Farmer Sylvester and Bono. Yes. Yeah, these are members of the extra large family. Um, I think we've seen um Farmer Wait Sue. I think yeah. I saw something like that on the screen just now. Yeah, we've seen we've seen him also. So um coming now, okay, so you are back into Nigeria after the work, go back into agriculture. Then what happened? Was it that yeah. you just came? Okay, Lejewo from Extra Lab, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, if anybody is there, let us know you're here so we can celebrate ourselves together. It's the Extra Large Show. Yes, okay. it's it's the right. 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 <laughs> so, coming back to Nigeria, yes, then what happened? Did we just start the um, farming and it was just rosy and everything was just fine and smooth and... You know, somebody needs to hear how was the starting of how was it? What like, what were the challenges? In, you know, that well, we faced. Actually, when you're talking farmers. about uh, uh, starting up, which farm, which place? <laughs> because there are strategic challenges for strategic farms. Mm. So it depends on the particular farm we're talking about, and we'll be able to see these are the challenges. Okay, so somebody who is listening for the first time may not understand that thing you said that which farm, which place, meaning there are many farms. There are many farms. What okay. I'm simply saying is that we have a lot of farms mm -hmm. and we have different farms for different produces. Okay. So if we're talking about challenges, which of our produces, which of our produce are we talking about? The produces in extra large, there are many. We have a lot of Products. And then we have to make sure that we process the produce and then each of the produce we process them to become 
to give us uh, finished products. And the finished products, those are the things we sell to the family members, both locally and to the diaspora. Okay. So, um, when you talk about challenges, oh. challenges are many, oh. many. But one thing that I can really say, um, many people have been to some of our, they know some of our, of our farms, farms, but uh, the training center is a place where many people have come to. Yeah. They, more people know the training center yeah, than the other farm because the training center has accommodation, comfortable places. Mm -hmm. We hold trainings there. They've been there. They they lived in there for four or five days. Mm -hmm. They've slept overnight. We've held the leaders with uh, uh, meetings there. Yeah, yeah. Many things we've done there. So and um, so many people knows about that place. Yeah. Now, but there are so many other farms that when we started, it was like you really can't see anything that will that will make it look like there's a better tomorrow here. Mm. I need you to tell them the story of um, the cassava. <laughs> yeah. I think okay. that was our yes. major um, yes. farm project where we came into Nigeria. Yes. I need to, I need to tell away. them about the, the challenges. I think we didn't really have so many challenges about the farmers. Yeah. The, the, the first harvest was the cassava. Yes. When we had to harvest, yes, and yes. then we started to make the fine garlic, we were so happy yes, with ourselves. Yes. Okay, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say that. Okay. Um, we, we prayed and God said we should get into the garlic production. Yeah. So we got into garlic production. That's why when you're talking about challenges, we really need to know which one. So we know where to enter from. Yes. There are so many doors of challenges, mm. yet there are more doors of opportunities. Mm. Because inside every challenge, there are more doors of opportunities mm. that can lead you into greater tomorrow. Mm. Now, when we planted the garden, just like every the cassava, just like every other person, things were wonderful. We were so happy. And uh, we were to start harvesting. So we started harvesting. Now Harvesting, you have to call the locals to harvest. Mm. And locals wants to see your cassava. Mm. That's number one. Mm. Secondly, they want to take away from you. Yeah. Now, if you stop at point A, the locals want to continue what you're doing mm. and still more to point B before you come back the following morning. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I think I've shared that before in this yeah. seminar. So we what they do, watermelon farms. what mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. is, if you are in point A, they want to steal from you, mm -hmm. so that uh, they don't get you to make more profit. Meanwhile, they are the same set of locals that harvested your, that planted for you, mm -hmm. and now they want to harvest it, and they want to steal from you. If you make them to steal from you, you are their very good friend. Yes. If you make them not to steal from you, then they will hate you. They try to make sure that whatever you do, don't even succeed. <laughs> they, know the, they know the intricacies of the business. Mm. So well, they don't want you to make profit. Mm. Moreover, they want you to bring the money in. They sell the lands to you. You make, uh, you, you, they, they, they plant for you. They harvest for you, you make your losses alone. Yeah. Why they make the profit? Yeah. So an average local is like that. The moment you don't allow that, they will do everything to make sure you don't make profit. Mm -hmm. Now, how do they do all this? Number one, they know if you don't make profit, you run back to your city. <laughs> the line becomes yes. They may not sell it. <laughs> but they will lease it out to other to people. Somebody that else, one that you've already paid for. Yes, you run away mm -hmm. because when you can't make anything, mm -hmm. any meaningful thing out of it. Mm -hmm. So you run back to the city. Now they have back their land. Mm -hmm. They know you have the documents and you can use your big police. You can take them to court and do the rest. Mm -hmm. They are not saying. Same. 
we go to this town. Mm. We we begin to rent this place. So they rent from portion to portion out. Mm. Now when we planted the garden and then we started harvesting, we produced, we started selling. Mm. At the end of the day, we realized this same set of people, they will just wake up one day because they are the ones trying the garden for them. Mm. Now they will tell you what they are doing is not profitable to them. They will just hold that meeting within them, among themselves. <laughs> and they say, what they are doing is not profitable. Mm -hmm. Now they need to, you need to pay them more. Yeah. So if, meanwhile, when they fry locally, some of them that cause people together to fry for them, mm -hmm. now when they fry, maybe a bowl, mm -hmm. they, could, they could fry a bowl, mm -hmm. but when they are frying for you, they want to fry half a bowl. So how do you make the profit? <laughs> Eventually, when they make the profit, they still want to come back to you to buy. Yeah. So when they buy from you, it becomes very, very difficult for you to make even the money you invested into it. Yeah. Because they know that you are not from here. Yeah. You are from the city. Yeah. So they want to send you back to the city yeah. and make sure that your business is not profitable. Now, when we process the gallery, it was very difficult. To sell, we couldn't sell. Nobody was found. We did everything possible to make sure we sell, but we could not sell, and that was where the challenges came from. What we did was uh, we gave it out. <laughs> we, gave, we gave something you suffered so for. You yes. put in all your money, your effort. Yes. We're not talking about one, five, ten acres of cassava. So many, and we had heaps, you know. A very light store filled with very beautiful, very nice tasting gallery, but to sell was a problem. A so problem. that in its own is a big challenge that Nigerian farmers face. You go ahead to farm to cultivate your farms, but to sell it now becomes, becomes a very, very big, big challenge. So what did we do? We just gave it up. We started giving it up. We gave we and we became, out. We became um we, we gave it out because we sponsored donors of Gary. We just gave it out to people. We blessed people with the Gary and then just went back. So we kept on praying yeah. and then we believed that one well, day okay, things would be okay. Yeah. So, and it was then that God started showing up. Yes. So you know, giving it out to people, blessing, you know, people, blessing people, people who have pastors, nothing motherless to children, you know. We gave them. We gave, we gave, we gave, Giving and in the course of giving, people started coming back to ask, Wow, where did you get this gary from? The gary is so nice because we did not actually just start making gary like that, we actually went round. You know, we have um, two major farms for the for our cassava, we have one in Ogun State around the Jiroko, we have another one in Oyo State. So we went round actually, we checked all the gary processing plants around and we saw what they were making it was horrible yeah you know the cassava they had planted the cassava with a lot of you know fertilizers, fertilizers and, and as they were peeling remember yeah they were peeling it's like that it was turning red yeah yeah it's the effect of too much too of much of fertilizers and so, as they were just peeling they were just dumping at the yeah. other side on and the then, floor and then when they, the sand. when they prepare the gary when they prepare the gallery, oh after frying, they are about to bag it for you. Huh. These local women don't even wear silver So they, what they do? They just sit on you. Huh. They sit on the gallery. They, they, they open their legs they, like this. Oh, if you see the dirty steps, you will never want to take it again. Then they stand on top of the gallery to measure. They are using their legs to match it like this. Yes. The sacks, you know, after mm -hmm. after peeling and grinding, the sacks that they are, they are going to put the cassava to yeah. for fermentation. For fermentation the sacks, some of them had maggots. You know, yeah. it was such a horrible sight. So we made up our mind, okay, we're going to start up with this. At least Nigerians deserve better than this. So let, let's start with, you know. And, and another thing, the hydrocyanide. Yes. The hydrocyanide inside the gallery, they produce. Mm. They don't allow it to leave it completely mm. because there are so many people that want gary mm. and for you to really say to meet up with your orders you need to allow the gary to ferment mm -hmm. and that fermentation process is what they cannot wait for mm -hmm. because somebody has already paid them mm -hmm. for the gary that is about to fry mm -hmm. because there is great demand yeah. uh, gary is a staple food in nigeria for people who are living outside the country mm -hmm. 
it's a staple food in Nigeria that an average home can it's a cassava, it's cassava granules. Mm. And uh, if you are hungry, you can take it, you put it inside water, mm. and then you drink it. Mm. It invigorates. Mm. And uh, you can use it to make local dishes, what we call gari or eba. Uh, or cassava flakes. Yeah. So it depends on you can if you are rich or you're poor you can eat it very very easily depending on you can cook good soup with it and then you take it as a bath mm. or you take it as a ordinary garlic. Mm. Now in the midst of all this we decided to say no we are not going to do it. We are going to have a very clean system that will produce hygienic garlic. And, and that's why we is. call it extra large fine, fine gary. You see, very fine. Very You're fine. Like, is this very gary or salt? <laughs> very fine. Looking and, very nice. And, and before we came back to the fine gary, mm. the transition between the giving out of food yes. and the uh, gary, okay. you remember at a particular time after that, they got thought of. Add this, add honey. That was for super gary. Yeah, add honey, add uh, coconut milk. That's super gary. Add vegetables, mm. add this and this and this mm. and this for people. A lot of people they try to copy that. Mm. We are not telling people our recipe. <laughs> so, but there are nine different things inside that, inside that gary. Yeah. Prepare together to form super gary. What that's is, different from that's normal super, gari. It's different from normal gari. Mm. That's so. What's what's uh, super gari? Super gari. It's a. It's a, It's like flakes. Mm. You can eat it naturally and ordinarily. Yeah. You know, it's something that when you eat, it's it, it's 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 infilling. Mm. Fills you up, mm. and uh, it's different. It's like you're eating flakes. It's so sweet. But the sweetness is in the honey that is in there. Yeah. Okay, so we want to take a short break now. And the break is that we want to get personal with the CEO. <laughs> Somebody say yay. Um, Etima Izzy, thank you for coming on board. Um, I think I saw somebody on Olapo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. If you're there watching, let us know you're there. Send us a hi. Um, Ebel Elesh, Governor Elesh. All we are saying, see you, give us a fan, <laughs> <laughs> We can see you. There is Super Gary in Agrike. <laughs> Everybody just wait. <laughs> Enough of Super Gary in Agrike. And I think I saw somebody um, posted something about um, we need your relief package or something like that. Maybe you don't know. Actually, there has been a blessing, even in this COVID-19 period, in all our branches in Lagos, in Ibadan, in an altar, you know, we had massive Not give out to yeah. so the less privileged. We have um, a foundation actually, Shea Moji Davis Foundation, where yes. we cater for basically the widows and um, children, children who don't yeah. have people who are taking people care of them. Care of and we did not just give out even our own products, we gave out money, we gave out um, yes. rice, our mm. beans, our palm oil. You know, they had big bags, vegetables from the farm, fish and everything. Egg. Eggs. So we, we give out and we are constantly giving out. In fact, personally in my house, at the beginning of the, the lockdown, after giving everything, giving, 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 we're still giving up till now. And, you know, we just said, okay, maybe because of our staff, because we have about 500 of them. So you can't say uh, you don't have food. Yes. So we have to keep like 10 bags. So let's keep this one in the house. And guess what? Under seven days, everything is finished. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we are believing God to be able to continue to give more. Okay. So, right now, uh, people you're watching, we want to take about five, ten minutes break to get personal with our CEO, or maybe with the two of us. You have some personal questions you want to ask us, apart from business, um, you're very free to ask now. But in the meantime, while you're preparing your questions, let me shock you. Okay, so, I am not your wife today. Eh, on this set, and I am not manager director in this on this set. Hmm? I'm a present. I'm a what? What? I'm an interviewer. <laughs> okay, so you're going to tell a very direct question. 
Because number one, what's your favorite color? White. White. Is somebody here. Alamu Elijah, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Marcus Soniano, all the way from Ohio, thank you for joining thank us. You. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so much. Um, so, white is your favorite color. Actually, that time you heard that. Okay, so what's your best food? Wonder me. Wonder me. And let me do a fofo for you. Extra <laughs> Ofofo. Before he came on set, he had already eaten hot wonder me with ogbono soup. Oh my god. With extra large smoked catfish. Mm. I didn't say anything. <laughs> you know, you can't really resist extra large meal. It's always there. It's easy to digest and everything. It's so. Okay. Thank you for that. So, for your that. favorite color is white. Mm. Your favorite food is wonder meal. Does he have any particular soup? Any. Any, any oh, yeah. <laughs> Egusi, Ogbono, Ofo Onubu, Ofo Oweri. Oh, oh, my God. Uh, I, oh, my uh, God. And this calabash with uh, Periwinko. Oh, my God. Somebody's asking the question <laughs> there. He okay. said, sir, what measures are you putting in place to bring more youth into farming? Okay. Actually, we, we are, if not for this COVID-19, we are to have the children's camp. Uh, later this year, and secondly, um, Agritech City, because of the machinery, one of the challenges uh, the youths are having, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things we want to uh, work towards. Now, I'm going to give you this, this story, and I want to tell you Nigerians coming back to that. Mm -hmm. um, this happened in Brazil. The young men, the young guys, they, they went to the city center to look for jobs. Mm -hmm. So they abandoned their parents in the farms and the villages mm. and uh, the, the daddies and the mommies started to continue their agricultural business. Mm. So they were helped one way or the other mm. and before you know it, they started making more money than the youths that are in the city. In the city. Okay. So when they are complaining about money, the parents tell them, we have money here. <laughs> so <laughs> as time goes on. Funny. Young guys went back to meet their parents in the villages. Mm. And why? It's no longer agriculture with holes and cutlasses. It is now agriculture with technology. Mm. We were in uh, Europe and we knew some of the things we, we were bringing into Agritech City. Mm. I mean, combined harvester. Now, we're bringing tractors, fully air conditioned tractors, and many other things. Implements that you can work with, making it fun, making it fun for the young ones. Young ones, yes, for no the young man wants to suffer. Mm. We have our own children too in the yeah. university. They are studying agriculture now. We are so proud of them. Yeah. But but basically, what we are trying to say is that the youth of nowadays don't, they don't want, want to do dirty jobs. Yeah. So we are creating an enabling environment, a fun environment for far, for young for people, young people to yes. come into farming. And then they will be proud of it. Yes. And we, we do offer um, internship. You can come over to our farm yeah. for internship. internship. People who want to you know come into farming. And to the glory of God, some people, a lot of people have actually come to us for training and ended up, you know, working with us at, at extra large farms. Yeah, yes, so, a lot of them like that. So that we are, we are we're improving. Look at the agriculture expulsion packages that yes. we do run. Yes, it's, it's one to encourage people from why, people to why they are young in, into farming. Get, and by the time they are leaving, it's a different ball game. Yeah, and we're yeah. already working on some concepts that you know, we could um, help you finance a farm project or something and then buy back the produce from yes, you. From the, We're already putting all that community projects, yeah, community projects, so school, projects school projects and all that. And all and that. that. So you don't need to look for money to do the farming yeah. projects and you don't even need to look for how to sell it. Yes, yes. So we because buy. We, we, we Once it is planted organically, we take it from you. Mm. Those are the things we have. Okay, so I hope I answered your question. Somebody that posted that Lucy Gmo, Ambassador Lucy. Ambassador welcome. Lucy, thank, thank you, you for You're joining welcome. us. Okay, so we're getting up close and personal with our CEO again. He said his best color is white. He said his best food is Wonder Meal with any kind of soup. Maybe because Wonder Meal is white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where is your favorite um 
Do I say city or country in the world? Where is your favorite? In the inside the van. Where? Which country? Which Nigeria. Oh, I Nigeria. love my country. I love the life. The, the, the greatest thing that gives me joy is when I'm within the farm, I see everything functioning the way it should function. Mm. Because it, it gives me that innate joy mm. that there is hope for Nigeria. Nigeria. Because if you are able to feed yourself, honestly, there is no amount of money that you really want in this country that is not available. Mm. You see people selling just crayfish, pepper, onugu, mm. uh, 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 in the market with, with grandma with maybe two by three two by three <laughs> size uh, of a table and they are actually they pay students university fee and they do a lot of things yeah. now when, when i walk to the farms and i see people working and i see produces being turned to products and i, I just thank god if i go anywhere <laughs> anywhere anywhere I, by the third, fourth day, mm. my mind is there. Mm. Now, I'm, I keep communicating on the, on, on the WhatsApp. Mm. They send me pictures, what's going on. I keep talking. We <laughs> talk till late in the night. Okay. Then two, three days to the time, I'm happy. I'm thank God I'm going back home. Yeah, Surakata Biodu, thank you for joining thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Abos said they Olufumilola Moraki. Thank you for joining thank us. You. you can send in your questions if you have any questions for us. We're here to attend to you. So, um, Mr. Sadiq, if you're watching, please can you just post the pictures? Um, sorry, the questions as we are asking and just um, put the answers as well for people who have missed up on some things. So your favorite color is white, and maybe that's why you're wearing white. Okay, so maybe my own best color is black. Maybe that's why you're wearing black, I don't know. No, it's sweet green. <laughs> don't tell me that. Don't expose my secret now. <laughs> so your favorite color is white, your best food is Wonder Mill. Your best country or best place in the world is Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. And it's not even in the city. No. Right in the bush. I don't know what people are doing in the city, but I just love it. <laughs> I don't. Honestly, you know me. I don't. Because sometimes when I go to Lagos, the traffic, you know, yeah. the traffic, everything, I say, what? But when you go to the farms, you don't really have, you, you can make your, you can plan your day. <laughs> I'm going to such a place, you know, in 30 minutes you'll be there. Actually, if I. If so, if you were not. Uh, so, I was saying, um, food is. My best food is one of them. My best color is white. Best country? Nigeria. Likes and dislikes. Likes. Straightforward, happy, uh, hardworking people. Dislikes. Opposite of everything I said. Don't tell me lies. <laughs> Don't tell me lies. Don't tell me you are smart. Whatever the situation just says, God will just solve it. Okay, so let me put you on the spot. Okay. Let me put you on the spot. Do you ever want to be at any point in time like maybe a governor in this in, of any state in Nigeria or a president or something like that? Would you ever buy for any political post? Never. Did you hear that Nigeria? Never. He said never. 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 Okay, so um going forward now. Okay. If you were not farming, what would you have been doing? I would have been a businessman. You're already a businessman. Yes, I would be buying and selling, importing and importing. Export. Pure water. <laughs> Importer, exporter, pure water. <laughs> yeah, if I'm not a farmer, I would have been into buying and selling. Let's see who's a buying and selling. Okay, so we want you to tell us one experience that happened okay. in the 
in the farm, one of the farms that made you very, very happy, and one other experience that made you very, very sad? Um, many times I've always been happy when I'm on the farm. I see challenges every day. If I, if I see challenges that are greater than my capacity, I'll just pray. And when I pray, God has a way of resolving me. Because if he gives you an assignment, you'll be back here. So you're trying to be yeah. diplomatic about that question. Tell us in points, <clears throat> what is the thing that, something, just a particular event that made you very happy and another event that made you very sad? Um, the last time we were in Agitech City, okay. um, I came, you know, we just came into the country a day or two before that. Okay. And uh, there were some challenges when I was outside the country. Mm. And uh, even before I left, mm. and God resolved all things. We need to hear about it. Hey, the challenge. <laughs> Extra large, am I speaking your mind? <laughs> we need to hear the challenge go hey, There are some internal things that were happening. <laughs> some of our workers were trying to be smart mm. and then they were trying to build up a shenanigan so, uh, and uh, just to their own advantages. Mm. And uh, they didn't really go with the the lineup of the of the of the company. Mm. For example, some of the members saw it when they came in. Okay. You saw that the roof to the hall we were in in Angrete mm. caved in and water was dripping. The POP <laughs> scattered. Mm. All these things happened when I was outside the country mm. and uh, I came back I wasn't happy. Okay. I came back I wasn't happy. Mm. Embezzlement, selfish reasons. And that, and that brings us to the topic of challenges you face with um, workers. Workers, workers yes. at the farm. You know, <laughs> getting the like in Nigeria, everybody wants to work in the office. Nobody wants to be a farm worker. Nobody wants to do the dirty jobs and That's all that. It. So you always, and even when they come, you know, they're always giving you challenges in that they want to. But you know, God, God still brings some good ones mm -hmm. along the many, way. Many. So, God still brings. so one major headache again that Nigerian farmers face yeah, is workers. Yeah, farm workers, mm -hmm. you know, um, people, dedicated people who will not steal, mm -hmm. who will not be this, who will not be trying to cut corners exactly. you know, around the world. Okay, yeah. so that's talking about something that makes you sad. So, let's talk about something that makes you very happy. Yeah, when I got there that very day, and uh, Another day. the following day, uh, when I got there, the following day, moreover, that roof that very day, we had to use jack hmm. because the thing came in, hmm. and it's been raining seven days consecutively. Hmm. So the weight of water, what they did was to remove the main pillar hmm. in the hall, hmm. so the roof came in. So when we came, the first thing that we had to hit the ground running. Mm. And we had to now put a jack mm. to jack the roof because nobody could really lift it. Yeah. So we connected it to the rack, uh, to the one of the major beam of the house mm. and then we jack up the ceiling. So we were able to push the water away to reduce the weight. Mm. So we now manage uh, um, with a, a pillar there mm. for us to use the following day. So by the end of the following day, um people came and it rained from morning to <laughs> around and they did know that God had done a miracle. Yes. You know, some people just wanted to sabotage the whole effort, but yes. we thank God. Ufama Nikoro, thank you for joining thank us. You. Um he said attitude to work is very poor among Nigerians. I tell you, you need to see, in fact. You know, that's why we always say, especially for people in the diaspora, mm. you want to go into farming and mm. you are not around. Mm. Please don't try. Don't start it at all. No, you give the money to charity. <laughs> <laughs> By that, God will bless you. Don't and say, then... oh, my family is there, my brother is there, you take care of it and everything. Oh, uh, there's something they, they say in Yoruba language. 
the Bible will say, Ojo Loji. How do they say? Ojo Loji, Ojo Ojo. Is that the correct thing to say? They say, Ojo Loji, Ojo Ojo. So you have to be there. Many to people's eyes. Yeah. So if you want to go into farming, that's one advice you want to give to people. Even we have a lot of time. Oh, I'm still working somewhere now and I want to. Um, I want to. Sorry, we have to delete this call. Um, I want to. I want to start up my own farm. I'm still working. You know, I want it to be that when I retire, I'll be able to have something to do. Yes, it is very, very good. But please, don't try. Farming is not really it's not something like that. you can do and not be there. You invest a lot of money and then you're gone. That's it's why like you just want to waste your money. That's why. Um, you know what's what's in the city. All you need to do is create it in in the in the farm, mm. and then you're good to go. Uh, many of I know, you know we're talking about people who are still um, in a paid employment. Yes. People who are still in a paid employment. So maybe they are looking forward to a time to retire mm. and yeah. then face their farming yeah. squarely. Go so for please, training. you know, and and um, another thing is that farming business has to be a family business. Honestly. Farming business has to be oh thank God and they've been pair of that day he said I've connected eventually congratulations that's to good congrats uh, <laughs> yes he got it right <laughs> so we're talking about people who are still working somewhere and they're having okay. plans to come into agriculture yes you have you can make plans you can start by you know acquiring the, the farmland yes you definitely. know you can visit us for consultation we, we do consultants and most of no, the time there, there are even things you can do yes while you are still working why you're still working because it is not all aspect of agriculture that, that is profitable, is profitable. so yes. you really need to know the one that is profitable yes. so that you know when how to get into it uh -huh. now if you want to work that's the advantage of being an extra life farmer yeah. if you are trained by if you're a farmer at extra life yeah. you are trained by extra life yeah. Now, if you are planning to start something, whether you are in the diaspora or you are here, it's just better you get into some, some. I wouldn't want to mention it now. Because even if they steal, you will still have about 80% profit. Yeah. If you even, they will steal because you are not there. You will still have about 80% profit. Okay. So those are farm businesses you can venture into. Mm. But for you to say, you want to rear chicken, you see, I want to be supplying. Yeah. People love big names. Mm. I'm the one rearing chicken and I'm supplying to Ekomog. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work like that. Now, all you need to do is rear your chicken, sell to anybody. Your money is back in your pocket. That's exactly what is important. The people you supply to does not really matter. Because sometimes you can sell locally. And you make more money selling locally than selling to big corporations. Mm. Yeah. So, um, so and at extra large also we have packages for that. Yeah. You know things you can do while you are still at work, and then while you are still in a paid employment, mm. or while you are still busy doing some other things, mm. and you want to have an extra source of income. You can actually be a farmer with extra large. You can go to our website right now on www extra large farms dot com does not have an e it's tax with an x x t r a large farms dot com so you can just um, um see our packages you could be a poultry farmer with us at extra large just send your money and how much ninety eight thousand seven hundred gets you started you can be um, a groundnut farmer with us at extra large we harvest the groundnut we process them into uh, hundred percent undiluted groundnut oil. Extra virgin. Extra virgin groundnut oil. oil. No, you know at extra that maybe you don't know. We are organic farmers here. You, we, we try our best to ensure that we do all our farming practices without the use of chemicals. Definitely. You know and all those things because we discovered that the chemicals, you know, are causing effects. more harm to people's health. You can imagine the other day they were saying it proudly on TV that the life expectancy in Nigeria and most African countries has gone down to 45 because of what we eat. And know. the life expectancy in extra large is 120. Life expectancy in yes, extra large is yes, 120. Yes, by God's grace, 120. <laughs> so we don't have equal. That's why 
extra large foods they are quality without ostentation yeah so, you know we always say that yeah. see you at 120 see you at so you are not permitted to die below what you accept mm. you want if you as want to we release you <laughs> as a you member want. of extra large you are not permitted to die below so for people who are still in, um, in one point employment or one business or the other or you just have passion for agriculture generally and you mm -hmm. don't have the time yet to go into it we have some investment packages for you yeah. that you can venture into that's one of the things we do at extra large another thing we do at extra large is um, provision of quality food we have good quality 100% natural food products talk about our fine dairy talk mm. about our olive palm beans oil. talk about our palm oil talk about our low cost oil, beans, low cost mm. beans aromatic, pepper, aromatic pepper catfish, catfish um, chicken mm. rabbit meat cow goat meat, meat goat meat cow uh, meat plantain flour um, fine dairy bean flour you know so many things like that extra large meal yeah so extra large rice. meal is the baba of them of somebody somebody rice. called from um which country is that the other time you know and he said he had the the yoruba person outside the country and he said he tasted um so uh, of father rice father, okay. and he was like no uh -uh. it was only my mother that used to give me this type of things so that the type of things you get no, somebody called the other time and said, uh, Did you perfume it? <laughs> <laughs> he said, The way it smells, it smells original. Did you add extra? <laughs> that, that she called from uh, a place in Lagos, you know, Redemption Camp or something. And, then, and she said, uh, she Anytime she's cooking it, that the neighbors used to smell it and come to the house. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Okay, so send in your comments, um, send in your comments, your let us hear your questions, questions, what you want us to talk about and all that. We'll be rounding up in about 10-15 minutes and then we'll fix another appointment, I think next week Saturday, by God's grace. So um, let's tell friends about it so that we can have okay. another. Today we had a lot of issues with um, internet connection yes. and all that, but yes. by God's grace, by next week we'll have we'll perfect it. Try, you know, to put all those things in. These are some of the things you could lay our hands on. Around yeah. Yeah. Um, so somebody is saying extra large. I've been hearing about it. Like somebody called from where yesterday from the US. He said he has actually heard about extra large before, like two years ago, but he never believed it was true. He was just like, no, no, no. This these are just scammers. scammers. <laughs> you know, that's scammer from Nigeria. He said these are just scammers. Okay, so these are not scammers. These are just. Um, ordinary farmers who serve an ordinary and extraordinary yeah. God who is doing extraordinary things in our lives. So um, let's let's just give you a brief history about extra large. We have been um, in business in agricultural business for about thirteen years now, and then we decided to become public about four years ago. Yeah, four years. Yeah, twenty sixteen. This is twenty twenty. Four years ago, out of a need to help a lot of people to yeah. achieve their dreams when it comes to agriculture, at the same time Make to help income. people to eat healthy, thereby living healthy. So that's why we have some four cardinals at extra. Land. Number one is farm mm -hmm. easy. Number two is eat, eat healthy. healthy. Number three is live healthy. healthy. And number four. Make, make money. money. So we'll tell you how we do it at extra large so that you can also learn it. Extra large. Extra large. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Farm easy. easy eat eat healthy, healthy. Live healthy, healthy and make, make money. money. Let's say again. Extra large. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Farm easy. easy eat healthy, healthy, healthy. Live healthy, 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 healthy and make, make money. money. Okay, thank you, Sadiq Alaleko. You said the foodie agent extra large is about to launch. How do you aim to achieve that? Because extra large doesn't lie. Oh, maybe you need to rephrase that question. We don't really understand what you're trying to, to say. Yeah. But the extra large foodie agent program is a program we have put together to help people earn good money. Good morning. You while know, you're in your house. While you work from home, you're not carrying anywhere. Anything. 
So you can be able to you just work from your phone as 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 easy as that. You don't even yeah. need to be any computer or whatever. Mm. You're able just to work on do your phone. And what is the job you have to do? And you're earning minimum of hundred thousand weekly or mm -hmm. monthly in food and agri yeah. business. Just Let me even ask you a question people. before we continue. In this lockdown period, what is it that everybody has been? Spending money on that, you know. Can you send us the comments? They've been buying cars. <laughs> <laughs> have you been buying cars in this lockdown? No, no, they've been buying a Chevy. Have you been buying a Chevy in this lockdown? <laughs> what have you been spending money on? <laughs> F double O D. <laughs> food. And who are the producers of food? Farmers. Farmers. Now, so, imported foods are even. You can't even import food. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we are back. We have to eat the we are, we are back here. Oluwade Yama is saying, I have access to about five acres of farmland in Oyo town. I live in Canada. Do you have activities in that area that you can use the land for? Okay, we need to let you understand that we have farms, farm locations in different places, yes. and they are big 200, 500 acres, you know, that's about 100 acres, you know, in different, different places like that. So if you have your farmland, there are things you can and you do. have somebody you think you can trust, you can send the person over for to training. us for training and then help you train that person and then farm set up. You can do farm, farm set, set up. There. there are things you can do yes. that we still give you about 80% profit yeah. because we can buy it back from you. Mm. So there are things we do. If we handle the farm set up, mm. we we'll just do the necessary things to do yeah. that we need to do. Yeah. And then the people can handle it. They will steal, definitely. But you can still make about 80% of Yes, yes, yes. Because we so, buy it from me, yeah. So for your five acres of land, we can talk about that later. You can, can private chat us. us. Yes, you can private chat us. Or you can, um, you can, what do we say? On WhatsApp. Or WhatsApp. even on our website, you have the live chat there. Live chat button on our website. Or you can contact us on, on Messenger. I am Moji David on Facebook. You can send me a private message on Messenger so you will see how to, you know, do something to assist you yeah. achieve your farming dreams. Yeah. So we were saying um, uh, the things. Uh, let me just seize this opportunity to uh, to tell our uh, family members all over the world. Please, you may not be able to get me either on Facebook or <laughs> um, anything. It's it's right because here. I might be in farms that does not have network. Mm. So if you are planning to talk to me, even sometimes my phone, I leave them. If I know I'm going to a, a farm that is far in, mm. but we have farms that you have to be on a bike yeah. for one hour yes, to get to the farm to the particular after the farm express. after the express. Like you pack your car. Now one, we use that because the land is cheap. Yeah. Then we have a lot of cows there. Mm. So, and you know, people could steal cows. But before you drive your cows from that distance of riding a bike for one hour, mm. the whole community will see you. <laughs> so, it keeps the cows safe there. And then all the plantations. So, these are the things Samuel, you're talking about. Samuel, welcome, said I'm glad to welcome. join the agency. Thank we you. are happy to have you also. Thank you. Thank you. Coming. We love you. Actually, it's a big family. I'm yes. sure you enjoy yourself. Okay. Thank you. So um, we are planning to round up today. We really apologize for all the challenges faced today concerning internet connection. But by God's grace, we'll have a greater yeah. time next week Saturday. Or do we post, do we increase the timing by fifteen minutes? Do you want us to increase? If you the want, time, us, you want to, us to go, we are not going anywhere. Send me your comments. So send me your comment if you want us to continue. We continue. Want to continue. If you want to have a break, then we can have a break. Please don't just keep silent there. Let us know. 15 or 30 minutes, whatever you want. This is a big family. Democracy is the order of the day. <laughs> Thank you. So, Extra Large is raising a generation of passionate farmers. Passionate farmers. So, you can, when you join, you have to become a member to, to enjoy everything we have to offer at Extra Large. We are raising a generation of passionate farmers passionate. on one side. Okay, somebody says, yes, increase it. Somebody say yes, let's discuss more. Okay, we okay. are here. No we are problem. here. Just I'm taking one that means so I'm free from it. <laughs> so just make sure 
you are sending us um, questions. Your comments let's, and let's, let's get your comments. Good analysis of the food agency, a long overdue opportunity for those of us interested. All right. Fight by me. I hope you have registered yourself on www.extralargoodies.com because we have already sent mails to all the people they started doing the interviews for them what so is please it? who are these food agents who are foodie agents foodie agents, foodie agents we need to tell them okay foodie agents are um agents of extra large farms who want to help people live healthy by eating healthy yes. so when you hear somebody say i'm a foodie, foodie agent, agent. It means that that person is helping people to make the right choices when it comes to food. How do they do that? By telling them the right things to do. Eat. By educating them on the health benefits of the different kinds okay. of food to eat. Okay. If you are diabetic, you mustn't be eating this. This is what you should eat. If you are hypertensive, this is what you should eat. This is what you should not be eating. If you have eye problems, this is what you should eat. This is what you should not be eating. Basically, that's the job of foodie agents at extra large farms and they help people you know get their food products at extra large farms and they're earning quite a lot from that from now, 100,000 and above That's now let me put you on the spot <laughs> see you as suddenly become people come and save you you have suddenly become the um, when you talk about food okay. which one do you like? me <laughs> what do I like? I like rice and I like of extra large of father rice. Let me tell you how I like it. Hmm. I like it when the pepper is not well blended. <laughs> <laughs> like you chopped it and then you now make it with palm oil mm. and you put local beans inside mm. and you put a cow leg inside mm. and you put that extra large smoked catfish inside. And you balance it, you know. You don't rush to eat that type of food. Okay. You balance. Okay. <laughs> and you get your maybe a, 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 a cup of <laughs> nice uh, pineapple juice or something, and I just enjoy myself. Yeah, he's good. talking about he pineapple said, juice. Sorry, we need to take this. Are uh, the foodie agents trained? Yes, we yes. are going to train them. So, can you tell us more about the foodie agents? So, we're talking about foodie agent opportunity. Please, if you have not yet registered to become a foodie agent, it's free. It's you don't free. have to pay yes, a couple to, to do that. that. Just go to www. Mr. Sadiq, please, can you put that on the screen? www.extralargoodies.com forward slash foodie agent. Dash agent. So just register yourself there. It's very, very free. Or WhatsApp this number that I'm going to call to you right now. 090 90 938486 to register as a foodie agent. So we are the ones to train the foodie agents. We tell them what to do and how to do it. Then they go ahead. So honestly, it's a very easy job. It's a yes. very, it's very it's a business easy. you are doing in the comfort of your you're home. Doing from the of and you're home. making more money than people who go outside by telling people to get our food. Yeah. And you have people on your contact. Mm -hmm. Instead of just talking about what's not going on well, yeah. talk about what can bless people. Yeah. For example, um, you could have them, we have them in different categories. Yes. We have the 10,000, we have yeah, the, the food basket. That's yes, talking that's about talking about the food basket. The 10,000, the 25,000, and then the 50,000. Yes. Now, but the foodie agent does not need, does not to, pay need to pay any to amount. To yes. yes. So what we're saying is that get somebody we deliver to your doorstep every month. So if you order for ten thousand, you understand, and then all we need to do is we make sure we take it to you every month. Twenty five thousand, the same thing. Fifty thousand. Now if you have your parents in the, if you're in the diaspora and you have your parents. Uh, your cousins or this or that. Yes, I wrote to me. That's the correct number. 090 
Okay, so they said, um, where is the location for the training? The training is online. online. The training is online yes. because we have people from all over the country, even yes. outside the country. So we can't actually say we are going to have a training in a particular place. So you can have it anywhere in the world. Yeah, the training is online. There's already we are already grouping them in two hundreds because we are recruiting about fifty thousand food agents in Nigeria. So um, even and all over, you know. So and people are, are beginning to pick places now. Already, like somebody called from Ohio. Yeah. Who wants people to are the picking one, their spots. And some other right places now. too. Yes. United Kingdom. Yes. Uh, Germany. Nigeria, Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. Um, Dubai. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. You can walk from anywhere as a food agent. He said, when is the training starting? The training is starting in a few days. So make sure you're registered on that website. Then... Um, the admins will give you, they will send you a mail. They will send you a mail. Okay, delivery nationwide alone or worldwide. Who pays for delivery? Thank you, Mia. Uh, don't be like this now. Of course, when you order a product, you are definitely going to be the one to pay for the delivery. Definitely. Yes, except for people who have um, our offices or branches around them. And then you can so pick it up from You can pick it up from That there. one is free. That one is free. But if not, you just pay a token for. For the delivery. So um, don't forget what I said. Foodie agents are just people who are helping people make the right choices yes. about what they eat. And they already have those people on their contact list. Yes, Becky Akita, you're welcome. Nice to have you here with us. So um, we need to round up, like we said. Some people you can said still follow extended. us. Yes. Some people uh, said, should we extend? Somebody said, yes, we yes, should yes, extend. Yes, yes, yes. So you can still you can still follow us even after this live um, video. You can still follow us personally on Telegram. If you want to join us on Telegram, we have a very active group on Telegram. Take down this number 070-8849-6478. You can send us a message on that. We'll add you to the Telegram group. Alari Waji Joseph wrote me, what is extra large funds giving to people this period of lockdown as palliative? We have given a lot and we are still giving. The people who know us, they know our branches in Lagos, in Ikeja. As a matter of fact, well, I think it was on the 27th or 20th, we gave out to so many families. Yeah. Here in Ota, we gave to so many so families in Ibadan. We are giving to so many families. Some of our members have also helped us to take yes. some to yeah. give out to other people in the And some of the family members have also given. Yes. A yes. lot of our governors, our yes. ambassadors, yes. our family members, yes. they are doing what yes. we might not and be we able don't, to do. And we don't only give during lockdown. It's our way of life. Yes. And if you see the whole concept of extra large farms, it gives back. you will see that we are always giving, giving. back. Yes. We are always giving Constantly back. Constantly giving. So that's, that's how we are at extra large Okay, let's talk about our food network program. Somebody says, um, is it not just the normal networking? I don't want to be a networker. Is it just is it not just the normal networking? And the no. name is the name the name networker. Yes. It's faster than it's no, 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 no. Um extra large food network program is actually a club. It's actually club. a food club. And what are we doing there? We are raising a community. In our first phase, we are raising one million people who are eating healthy, what they are farming. You eat what you grow at Extra Lad. You know, I said on one hand at Extra Lad, we are raising a generation of passionate, passionate farmers. farmers. On the other hand, we are building a community, a community of, of people consumers. who eat healthy, yes. live healthy, and of course, make mm -hmm. money in the process. So that's what we are doing on the Extra Large Food Network program. When you register for to become a member, you know you register just once in a lifetime. You don't register every year. There is no uh, what do they call it? Um, retainership fee or something like that. You just, no, it's just once, once in, a lifetime. in a lifetime, and it costs you just eight thousand five hundred naira to become a member of Extra Large Family, and that's once in a lifetime. And I can bet you from that your 8,500, you have plugged yourself into 
an endless source of income talking about food and agriculture you have the potentials of earning in multiples of millions Definitely. with the business you are starting with just 8,500 8, you know you want to know more about that one you have to visit us on www.extralifefoodnetwork.org you can take this um, our customer care numbers down right now or just go to any of our websites you have a live chat button there right now somebody will be right there waiting to attend to you go to any of our websites extralifefarms.com extralifefoodnetwork.org extralifegoodies.com agritechcity.com you know not talking about about agritechcity i'll leave you to talk about that so um, as we are rounding up just tell us about Extra Large Agritech City. What is it about? Extra Large Agritech City is the family home mm. of all Extra Large members. Mm. Where you can walk in into 24 hours electricity. Mm. That's scarce in Nigeria. Mm. Um, walk into hospitality. You get into good environment. Mm. Meanwhile, you are still in the farm. Yeah. It's a place to look up to for yeah. good vacation. It's a place to look up to for good vacation. I mean, you're really looking for a place to, to rest. Some of the people who have been to the Center for Practical Agriculture, you know that when you are there, uh, somebody came one particular time and because she said she was coming to the farm. She got that boot, mosquito net, everything. <laughs> I'm very sure she's, she's watching now. She gathered everything, put them in the boot. And the family was calling, pa, 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 are you okay? Are you okay? The family, our mosquitoes have not finished you. So, when she got into her room, she saw CNN. Hmm. She saw 32 inches uh, TV, LED screen, private bedroom, toilet, fresh rosin shower, personal, and an air conditioner. She said, in the farm. But you told me that we are coming to the farm. This is not a farm, but it's a resort. <laughs> so, so, Kemi, Isaac, thank you for joining thank us. You. Thank you. No, you just said, this is not a farm, this is a resort. <laughs> so, Architect City is, um, is a place to compare with any part of the world that you have seen beautiful things. Mm. The, the rooms will be fantastic. Fantastic buildings. Now, very soon you'll be seeing a lot of things about it. So, so basically, what are the things that we will remember when we are thinking about agriculture? What exactly are the things? What are the major things that we are looking at? Hospitality. Yeah. Agricultural training. Mm -hmm. Good environment. Mm -hmm. Taste of Africa. Mm -hmm. These are basically the things. What about the food speed too? The food speed too, what yes. What about the mini Israel? The mini Israel, that's why I said taste of Africa. What about Garden of Eden? Garden of Eden. <laughs> the Garden of Eden is where you bring your wife to so that you can become Adam and Eve. You want to commit another sin again? Where? If you are bringing your wife to Garden of Eden, you want to commit another sin. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a place to look up to. And very very soon. By those by this time next year, I'm sure a lot of our people would have slept in there. Yeah. And you would the target is to make sure you don't go home. <laughs> Just stay there. Yeah. Of course, you can have businesses to do a lot of businesses. That's why we're going to have the extra life university yeah. where the students will be on campus and all training programs will take place there. Mm -hmm. So the whole world is coming to meet us yeah. there. It's a place to look up to. And I'm sure you really enjoy it. Agritech City Generation, Generation Next. Next. Thank you. Okay, so um, to continue the the, the, the conversation, um, continue to, with us on Facebook. You can chat me personally on my Facebook Messenger at Moji David. Um, our chief farmer here has to and go and attend to some other. And if anybody wants to know, if they really want to, if it's you are you are really interested in. Talking yeah. compulsory, maybe you want to start up agriculture okay. or something. Okay. Please send uh, uh, the message to you. No, not to you. Okay. So I can 
take it off. Just let okay. me know. And, and but it must be very, 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 very urgent. urgent very and important. Urgent. Our customer yes. care numbers, if you need to speak with any of our customer care representatives, let me call the number right now 0809 0809 2093444. 9083-9115 That's our Ikeja branch number You can also call Can you please repeat the Ikeja branch number? Ikeja branch number yes. 090 mm -hmm. 90 Good You can also call Abeo Kuta office Abeo Kuta office is 090 Nine zero nine zero nine three eight four seven five. I take it again, Ibadan office um, phone number zero nine zero four nine seven six. Four one nine one. So as we close, we want to give a gift to three people. Share mommy, you know all the numbers. <laughs> you anything for me? Any gift for me for knowing all the numbers? I'll give you kuli kuli. Oh. It's not like kuli kuli. It's very nutritious. Mm. If you eat it, I'll add it in your mouth. That's not what I want. <laughs> give me a cow. You, eh? A you like a cow. Okay, I'll give you a cow. <laughs> Yay! But if I give it to you, you sell it. Again. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask an average gesture. Three people nice questions, one. and our people, um, our admins are watching right now. The fastest to answer the question okay. gets a food pack. Okay, we are giving three people, right? Yes. Three people. Yes. Okay, so we are giving three people how much food each? Ten, ten thousand. Did you hear that? You are willing for yourself food items of 10,000 naira in each courtesy of extra large farms right inside this lockdown. Period. And if our if our, our, our family members, yeah. the husband will win one, the wife will win one. <laughs> <laughs> so the three will go to one. Are you ready to hear the question? We are supplying okay. the answers right now. Fastest fingers. Yes. Fastest fingers. You are yes. supplying the answers right now. Are you there? Let me see your hands. People that are there, let me see your hands. I can see many people have already gone. You know, when we had all the architects sitting here, Gongo, Nikoko, Abadi, among me. Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, so we are asking questions and three people to win the correct answers. You are getting three. Titila, you are your is watching. Yes, yes. welcome. I hope you know the answer. You, you are going away with food items of 10,000 10, naira if you answer these questions correctly. So while Ufoma and Igoro, yes, I can see you. We are we are during the up close and personal with the CEO. I asked him for some questions and I want to get the answer right now. Ugutipe Mayo Asamblo, I'm available. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, um, you're welcome. Wow, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, okay, so these are the questions. Number one. <laughs> Number one, the CEO told us his favorite color. SNG Olufalakwe fan gave me your work. Wow, you're welcome. He told us his. Uh, Olorode is here. Okay. Olorode one is here. Okay. okay. Olorode you're one, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Um, he said his favorite color. What is his favorite color? That's question number one. You say the answers together in one. Question number two. He told us his favorite food. What is his favorite food? Number three question. He told us his favorite country. What is his favorite country? Da, 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 da. We're waiting Again. for the answers. The winners are going to be food items of 10,000 naira each. That doesn't matter food items you get to comprise of extra yes. large meals. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, you tell us. Tell us. Extra large meal. Yes. 
extra large palm oil, yes. extra large of father, yes. extra large uh, uh, aromatic pepper, yes. extra large in room. Yes. Oh, good if my mind about to get back here. It's red green. You said your favorite color is green. Yes. <laughs> Please answer all the answer all everything together in one favorite color. Favorite, favorite food, um, food, food, and favorite the best country. country. Yes. yes, please answer everything together at once. So we're waiting. We're waiting. If you're answering the questions scatteredly, no, give us the three in favorite one. Favorite color, favorite food, and then favorite the country. favorite country. Okay, so we're waiting. Becky Akita completed, completed. Now food is going on. Oh. Food is going on. Oh. Yay! Oh, good thing, my boy. I want you to say white, pandelian, or oh, oh, pandelian mungo. <laughs> JMC, the man in the Latin do. Agbaje, a man will miss and receive. Put the answers together in one, please. Yes. Make your kita. Put the answers together in one. In one. In one. Make it three in one. Okay, Oluwa Kemi Isaac. Oluwa Kemi Isaac. Okay, that's the way it should be, but I don't know if you have gotten the answer correctly yet. You put the answers, all the three answers together. Okay, so uh, more answers, please. 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 Can I have? Um, can I have something? Can I have something to write? A paper and a pen to write our our our, our, our winners. Okay. Okay, we have two winners already. Going, 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 going. Oh, Becky Akita just joined the third Becky Akita, you didn't get it. Becky Akita, you didn't get it. Becky Akita, you made a very simple mistake. You did not get it. But our first winner for tonight is Oluwa Kenny Isaac. Please try to send us your private message or chat us on this number. Chat us on this number. Yes, chat us on this number. 090 
It's wonder me. Can you please correct that? Wonder me and send it back to us. Yes. Uh, Becky Akita, can you please? Becky Akita, please? can you can you correct it and yes. send it again? And then wonder me. Favorite color is white. Best food is wonder me. Yes. And the best, best country, country is Nigeria. Is Just to Nigeria. wonder me. Yeah. Nigeria is the best country in the world. Yes. 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 So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. For thank you. Coming today. Thank you. We're Go sorry for the hiccups. So sorry. sorry for the hiccups. We really apologize about we that. Do. A lot of technical issues, mm, internet connectivity yeah. issues, and all that. Please, we are sorry. Emma, 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 Biko, Biko, Biko. I want you know, I want to lose your money, I want you know, network lose I hope Corona did not affect the network. I hope so. Uh, maybe. I hope so. So next week Saturday, by God's will, time is five p.m. again, and we will really be happy to have you. Please prepare right your here. questions. Prepare your questions. Yes. Tell your friends about it. Yes. Share the link and everything. Yes. Don't forget to say hi to us on Telegram if you'd like to join us on Telegram. you came late. We have already announced the winners: Olua Kemi Isaacs, um, Becky Akita, and Albaji Omo. They are the three yeah. winners of today. Make sure you are hooked up with us next week so that you can also um, benefit. You may, you may be a winner. You may be a winner. Who knows? You may be a winner next week. And if you have not registered to become a foodie agent, please visit the website on www.extralargegoodies.com. Ufama Anigoro, thank you so thank much. Thank you. In fact, we want to also give you a gift. You have been here since, yes, um, yes. since the beginning of the program today. Yes, we really appreciate yes. you. Um, yes. what, what are we going to do? Where are you? Ufa Manigoro, please, where are you? Where are you um, connecting from, with us from? Yeah. Where are you which, from? Which area? Where are you from? So we can know if we can send you at least some food products from extra large farms. Lady O, extra large, great job, well done, man. So God thank bless you so you. much. GMC, your day, the internet lockdown. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's it really been terrible. The network tonight has been terrible. We know a lot of people, they've been sending messages here, they can't connect, they can't mm. connect, they can't connect. But we pray that by next week, Saturday, it will be much more better. Uh, Ufama is chatting us from London. Okay, Ufama from London, oh. do you have anybody you can send over to get um, something for you in Nigeria? Oh. We will be giving you a food yeah. pack from extra like worth 5,000 naira. We'll give you extra like yeah. meal, yes. we'll give you extra like your father rice, yes. we'll give you extra like plantain flour, yes. we'll give you our uh, uh, palm oil, I, uh, uh, granite oil, granite oil yes. and yes. fine garlic. Yes. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay, Becky Akita, you got it now. Favorite yeah. color is white. Yes. Best food is wonder meal. Yes. Best country is Nigeria. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. What time next week Saturday? Five. Time next week Saturday is five p.m. So yeah. please let's um, pass the message to all our people so that they can join us also on this. Um, and if you want to be a guest on this, um, our weekly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> weekly broadcast weekly broadcast on on Facebook, yeah. you can just. Um, you have to be a member number one. You have to be a member, and you have to have been in in the extra family for some time. So we can invite you to be a guest on our live broadcast every week. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really, really. I thank will make sure I win next week. Oh, yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know we are eager to give out the gifts? Yes, yes. We are yes, eager yes, to give yes, out the gifts. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you so very much. We love you. We appreciate you. Yes. We value you. Yeah. You are the best family in the whole world. Yes. No one can be like you. You are just the very best. Yes. God bless you. Yeah. God keep you. Can you sing them a love song? <laughs> can you sing them a love song? Okay. Um, which one? I don't want to sing you a common love song. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I want to check my archive so that I can bring up something you've never had before. Yay! Mm -hmm. Love song, love song. 
Send him. Do you okay. have a love song you want him to sing for you? Send it to me. I love you, Jenny. Yeah, oh. mm -hmm. There is no reason to break your heart. I need you, dear. No, 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 no. There is no reason to break it. So many things, so many things I say. They're really from my heart. There is no reason to break your heart. Now, this is what we are talking about. Everything we are doing in Extra Light mm -hmm. is to make our lives better. Mm -hmm. As a family, we must never break ourselves mm heart. -hmm. We must never break our, our mm -hmm. hearts. So we love you dearly. Mm -hmm. There is no reason to break your heart. <laughs> Good Uber says you should sing Reckless Love by Corey Ashburn. Ah. <laughs> I don't think he knows the song. <laughs> I'm a farmer. Don't let me be found to sing that kind of song. This one I'm singing to you. Ah, so many things. So many things. Now listen to the word. Don't listen to my voice. Because my voice may, may not be that sonorous. To bring out the beauty of the song. I love you, dear. Na, 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 na. No reason to break your heart. I need you dearly. Oh, there is no reason to break it. So many things, so many things I said. The really from my heart. There is no reason. Many things, so many things I said. The really from my heart, there is no reason to break your heart. There is no reason. Somebody said it sounded like a joke. We love you, we appreciate we'll you. Another God bless you. And Thank next you. week, please make sure you are here on time. The, um, the, the program is from 5 o'clock to 7. Yes. And yes. next week, we'll be teaching you something practical yes. about farming. Family. We'll Family. teach you something about um, practical. Yeah. We're going to be teaching you about vegetables, yes. how you can plant from the back of your house yes. next Definitely. week by God's grace. Yes. And then we'll still be getting up close and personal. Next week, it will be me. <laughs> And be ready also, you'll be going on with um, fantastic prizes for answering our questions correctly, and then you get more information. So please share about the information next week, Saturday, by 5, 5 p.m. Big up to our meet, engineer, Farmer Engineer Abimbola. Greatest engineer in the Thank house, Farmer Abimbola. Thank you. You've <laughs> you, you, you done a good job today. AKA Ozongulare. <laughs> try and do a better job next week, Saturday. Uh, connect is since 4 o'clock. Connect and make sure you don't know. People, don't please know stay better. safe, stay safe, and we be love you. We appreciate you. During this you. Corona period, Thank wash you. your hands. Cover your nose when you have the need to go out. And please don't play with your immunity, please. Yeah. Take a, a lot of water, yes, exercise, mm. sleep well. Ginger, garlic, white carrots, turmeric. Yeah. If you can blend them together and drink daily, it's right, very good. Them. Your oranges, your pineapple, they're Definitely. a good source of boosting your immunity. Definitely. And we pray that by the special grace of God, none of us. In the actual life family, yeah. even in the whole world, you yes. know, shall, shall, shall fall victim of um, the coronavirus. See Amen. you next week. And the people who are sick. And the we people that, we are, that are sick, them. we pray we agree together yes. right now in the name of Jesus yes. that the Lord will we heal them and 
take away all their infirmities and we receive strength for strength them for in the name of Jesus. No more sickness, yes. no more death Amen. all over the world Amen. in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. See you next week. See bye you. Bye bye. Thank you. I love you dearly. Oh, there is no reason to break your heart.